Welcome, lovely Capricorn, to your general timeless reading. I will begin your reading with Crystal Scrying and continuing on with the Tarot and Oracle as well. I have already cleansed and prayed over the reading, so let's go ahead and roll Capricorn. Where would you like for me to go, please, for Capricorn? Here. Thank you. And who is Capricorn? Oh, wow. Oh, Capricorn, this is sweet. So Capricorn, you're holding, it's like a bouquet of flowers that turns into a teddy bear. Now, you're holding them out in front of you as if you're going to present them to someone, okay? Now, across from you, sitting on the ground, oh, I'm sorry, you're coming through as a feminine. Now, this is not gender specific, okay? On the ground is a masculine, and a masculine is holding this huge teddy bear. Now, teddy bears are a stuffed animal, and for me, symbolically, that is telling me that it's an animal that, um, first of all, a stuffed animal is security, like a security blanket, okay? Um, but it's like, in addition to that, a bear itself knows when to come out of hibernation. So knowing it's time to come out of hermit mode, okay, or knowing when. Um, and, you know, when a bear comes out of hibernation, it comes out into newness, a, a brand new beginning, because many things usually um, have frozen out and all these fresh berries, all these, you know, all this brand new life is coming out. And so the bear goes out and explores. So it goes on this new journey to see what's new, what um, what has uh, died out, what is revitalized, um, and what is just simply brand new. Okay, so where I'm seeing you presenting this what was a bouquet of flowers. So I feel like for some of you, it could actually be offering love to someone or friendship, companionship to someone. Um, and then where it switched into the bear, it could mean that some of you are offering that and then plus some kind of security uh, that you may make someone feel secure with you. Okay. Um, what I would mean by that, let's, Let's just say for an example, it's an intimate partnership. You would be someone that in a secure sense, this person would know that you would be loyal or trustworthy, something like that. And, you know, it doesn't have to mean this is in any kind of uh, intimate partnership, uh, but it does mean that uh there's something you are offering of yourself to someone else or to something else, okay? It could be a new job position. Uh, it could be, um, you know, just a friend or something like that as well. Take that how it resonates in your life. But this is beautiful. Okay, Spirit Holy Divine. Within the tarot, what would you like to tell lovely Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? That was really, really sweet, Capricorn. Thank you. Hold on. I just fell. Okay. So we have, okay, do you want this reverse or upright? Upright. And what do we have? So we have the five of pentacles with the three of pentacles. Okay, so what I feel like here is, okay, someone, or it could be both of you, you and this person, or you and this job, whatever this is, you and another person, because there's two people here. Yeah, 
This one doesn't have two people. It's only one. Yeah, there are two. I didn't see. There's two. Okay, so this could be you understand. Okay, let's say if this is an intimate partnership, then you would be understanding that you're presenting this bouquet of flowers and some kind of security to another situation, let's say. Um, you are offering something to someone or a situation because you understand or you've been through something similar. Um, it's almost like I feel like with that bouquet of flowers, it's almost like I feel a lot of compassion here. Understanding. And I feel like it, it's like you Capricorn knowing what it feels like to be left out in the cold. And so does this person place or situation. You know, if it's a job, uh, maybe they're they're. Uh, their main supervisor had to walk away for whatever reason, and they were left out in the cold. No one knows the super, how to do the supervisor's job, so they have to start over. You know, so but some way, somehow, there's this common understanding of not wanting to like treat someone else. In the same manner as you've been through yourself, Capricorn, and them doing the same for you because they understand as well. And with this Three of Pentacles, see the Three of Pentacles, that is, um, yes, it's teamwork, uh, working together as a team. But I'm feeling like here, I'm feeling like coming together with this person, with this job, whatever this is, it's going to bring on some kind of like some kind of recognition here. I feel like by coming together in this situation, It's like going to, it's somehow it may boost your already creative um, endeavors. It may boost something somehow. Um, let's say, for instance, it's a person. Okay, let's say, um, let's see, what could I use, Spirit? Let's say this person is, let's just say they're very smart. And, um, you are really trying. <coughs> I'm doing it again. There's something about communication. I did this in Taurus's reading too. And it's not me. It's like happening all of a sudden. There's some kind of communication that needs to be had. Look, it's taking my breath. <clears throat> but I definitely feel like, so it's like, if you um, have a situation where like two people are coming together that have been through the same thing or something similar, so being respectful to each other's needs um, and it's like but coming together as a team and really making stuff flourish better than what you would do on your own Capricorn and the same for the other person or the same for the other situation. It's like both people, both situations really, um, what's the word I want to say, Spirit? Hmm. Making each other better. I'll just say it that way. What do we have? Trust your feelings. You're see you are unique your destiny is waiting for you to write your story and pave your own path <coughs> follow your heart don't let others dictate who you should be i'm going to leave it there with you much love to you lovely capricorn have a very blessed and lovely week bye-bye